kind of in a holding pattern. Well, bring in the title. I'm not going to number this one. Um, just label it holding. Oh, that's cute. Label it holding pattern. Here's the problem. Uh, I've been too busy to make a ham radio now episode with things that are going on around here. And, uh, it's going to last for a little while longer. So I thought I'd better at least take a moment to let you know that I'm still here. I haven't pod faded, but, um, having trouble getting an episode done. Most of it is cat related. So let me show you a little bit. This is a cat that you have not seen on ham radio now. Her name is Popo Key or Kiki. That's Hawaiian for, uh, uh, for cat. And, um, the other day, uh, last week, um, I was feeding her, her brother, the bear, and I heard a couple of strange meows from Popo Key in, in the other room. And I got out there as quick as I could and she had died. She had just meowed a couple of times and then died. I know you guys know how much the cats are important to us. And that was very strange. So that was problem number one. And let's look at uh, number two. And that is the bear. And the bear is having health problems. Now he is still going. I hope for a good long time, but it's getting dicey. Uh, he's had a couple of blood transfusions. He is... Um, Losing red blood cells. We've had some tests done. He's making red blood cells. They're being killed off fast. Um, that's not sure why. We're doing some things to try to keep him going. And part of that, and this is the main thing that is keeping me really busy, is um, that's me feeding him through a tube, going right through his neck and down into his little bare tummy. Um, and I've got to do that. Mm, five, six times a day, and it takes a while. That has used up my time, and that's going to go on for, for a while yet. So that has made it impossible to make Ham Radio Now programs. There's some other family things that are going on, taking up a lot of time too. I, there's a lot of shows I would like to be able to make, but having a real hard time getting to be able to do them. So I thought I would let you know at least that there will be more programs, and um, they'll be coming up as quick as I can get them. Now, I'm not going to do a pitch for um, Arvin, because I feel bad about the folks that are subscribing to the programs and not, not getting any, but I am going to point out that the Kickstarter is successful. So we'll be going to Tapper in uh, Orlando, in, or in not Orlando, in uh, St. Petersburg. Nothing is going to get in the way of that. So, but if we have to, Cindy and I have to make other arrangements, I'll be going down there. So there are three days to go as I'm recording this, uh, but we're well over the $5,000 limit, almost to $6,000. And um, I had uh, promised you guys that if we got over 5,500, I would guarantee that I will do an on the road video, maybe more. So that will be happening. Are the headset sitting around here? No, it's uh, packed up. But uh, the headset will pop on my head, <laughs> so we'll have good audio, and the camera will ride uh, in its uh, exalted position on the tripod between the uh, seats, and we will do a program on the road. So, yay. I'm looking forward to that. I like that, I like that part. Uh, and uh, there's three days left to go if anybody wants to, to kick in. You don't have to anymore, but if anybody wants to, that would be, that would be cool. So uh, there is one more thing that I'm going to, toss into the mix before, uh, before closing this thing out and getting it on. And I, I would normally be feeding the bear right now, but he's at the vet getting his second blood transfusion. So I've got a few vacant minutes here to do this stuff. Um, I had discovered a, uh, program on Netflix that I saw promos for Mm, the beginning of last season, I forget which network it's on, maybe CBS or ABC. I don't think it was NBC. Uh, it was called Limitless. Tell you what, let me uh, talk about it as I, as I play the title. Whoa, <laughs> that was loud. Sorry. So 
I, I don't recognize the names of any of the actors or actresses. You might uh, you might recognize them. Um, unfortunately, and I, I really like the program, and it just finished its first season and got dumped onto a Netflix real quickly. Um, and unfortunately, it um, was canceled. Only made it past its first season. Of course, because I really like it. <laughs> Thought it was a really good show. When I saw the promos for it, uh, coming up at the beginning of the uh, of the season, I thought, this show has got potential, but it's probably kind of goofy. And I don't watch appointment television. I don't watch in real time. Don't have cable. Don't have DVR. Not going to sit in the living room and watch a show in real time and you know make sure I've got to be there on the right night at the right time. So I thought, yeah, I, I, I'll take a pass on Limitless and just see um, what happens later on. And then it came up on Netflix. So I watched the first episode and the second episode and it, and it really hooked me in. And then I looked online to see if it was going to have another season and it became uh, canceled. F- found out that it was canceled. Speaking of which though, uh, I had told you that the uh, program that, whoa, uh, Stranger Things, remember that one? I reviewed that a couple of uh, shows ago with some ham radio in it. Stranger Things is going to have another season. Now, initially, I had told you that it was just going to be an eight-episode um, limited engagement, and that's what I had read. And now they're going to do it again because it has turned out to be one of the most popular programs on Netflix. So, of course, they're going to do it again, although I think they were planning on that all the time. I uh, don't know if there'll be more ham radio in it uh, in its uh, second uh, second season, and it's going to be next year before that comes out. But um, it, there, there will be another Stranger Things. I didn't think the program was all that good. I thought it was pretty good. I enjoyed it. I watched it all the way to the end. I think I, I said in the program that I reviewed it that I really only watched it all the way to the end to see if there was going to be more ham radio in it. And there wasn't. There was two episodes that contained some ham radio. But I... Uh, I, I really kind of enjoyed it. Um, it was it was inspired. The guys that did it were inspired by watching guys like Steven Spielberg, and this program doesn't reach uh, their level as you would expect on, on their first big outing to the um, you know to, to big time TV. And Netflix, I think, now is big time TV, but they're young guys. Let's see where they go. They got. A lot of potential. Let's see if they're able to keep ramping it up. They could be next uh, the next Spielberg. So Limitless, the reason that I'm talking about that, other than I thought it was a really good show and am disappointed, as many of its fans were, that it had been canceled, is it also had some ham radio in it. So um, what I want to do is um, get um, a little bit of explanation about what it's all about. Um and I could explain it to you, but I think um, probably I'm just going to let the uh, the guy who uh, is the main character in the show explain it to you. My name is Brian Finch. I was your average 28-year-old screw-up until I took a pill called NZT. Suddenly, I had access to every brain cell. And that's why the FBI hired me. My name is Brian Finch. This is Rebecca Harris, and we're with the FBI. God, that sounds <laughs> cool. There's just one problem. NZT will kill you unless you have this shot. Now you can have as much NZT as you want with no side effects. My name's Sam. You belong to Mr. Moore now. Which okay, you're getting the idea. You belong to me. We know quite a lot about NZT. FBI's playing catch up. I want you to. So the guy takes the pill. He becomes brainiac for 12 hours, and then it wears off, and he's got to take another one. But I do think you should know what's. And there's intrigue and stuff in the background. So um. I think you know enough about what Limitless is all about to be able to uh, understand the place that ham radio has in it. So um, I'll, I guess I better set this up just a little bit there. There's a ship in the, I think the Indian Ocean that they're trying to find. And, you know, it's a great big ocean and a great big world and they're trying to find the ship. And well, um, they come upon the idea of, have I got the right thing up here? Well, let me let this, uh, 
this FBI lady uh, explain it to you. Uh, Ham radio, guys on Southeast Asian languages, and all of the FBI files on pirates in that region. <laughs> okay, so he's um, going to be searching for the ship. Oh, it was, it was um, absconded by pirates. So um, there's somebody on it that they need. So he, he's going to be searching for the ship, and he's going to learn all these languages, which he can do in minutes. And did she say ham radio? I believe she did. So uh, let's go to the next clip, and let's see how he gets to actual ham radio stuff. Okay, we know Mitra is somewhere in the South China Sea, but since we don't know who's holding her or how to talk to them, it's time to learn some languages. Okay, now, while he's doing that, start watching the stuff that's going on in the background. All the languages in the South China Sea. <laughs> see what she's doing? He's learning languages. She's setting up ham radio stuff. Hold on. Oops. Hold on a sec. Yeah. Behind him over his shoulder. I'll give you the full screen picture. Uh, wrong. Wrong full screen picture. There we go. That's the antenna. Yeah. He's going to talk with a ham radio station to the South China Sea. I think that's what they said. With this sitting in an apartment in uh, New York, I think. All right, don't worry about it. Some ham radio equipment. Okay, so he's tuned in somebody, and that's their call sign, PHU27. Okay, so not a real call sign, clearly. Uniform. And there's the call sign he's using for Uniform November Alpha Zulu. Um, I guess I can explain that a little bit. That that is sort of like a UN call sign for U1, UN or something like that. Um, so this is uh, for uh, for Uniform November Alpha Zulu. Well, the person that they're trying to find is a relative of someone named Naz, or her nickname is Naz. So, N-A-Z, so, for you, N-A-Z. Okay, so that's how that's working. <laughs> now let's watch him play some more. November Alpha Zulu, they team thinking bow, they could be. Okay, so this is a CQ seeking intel on the pirates. He's just calling on, I think we'll see the frequency in a moment. Oh, yeah, we, we will. And that's not in a ham band. It's it's uh, between two hand bands between, um, you know, 20 and 30, uh, 20 and uh, 17 meters, but not a, not a hand band. So, okay. Mitra is being held by new pirates, bigger and badder than the last pirates who had her, but we don't know who they are. She's stuck in international waters where we have no contact and no jurisdiction, but we do have a ham radio. Yes. Well, that radio that they're looking at on the screen right now, that is not a ham radio. That is a, uh, an old uh, CB radio from the, uh, probably the eighties, I think. Um, but you know, it's, it's cool. Looks like a ham radio. What else has he got? And seafarers, maritime law enforcers, and locals still use the radio wave frequencies to communicate with each other. If we can find the right frequency, we just might be able to find out who has Mitra. If you remove human life from the equation, it's actually quite a stimulating problem. <laughs> No pirates here. That's good, though. That's really, really good. We've got somebody, okay? So keep doing this over and over and over until we get somebody else. <laughs> Brian, I don't know how you're doing all of this, but it means so much. And I know it would to my mom, too. So I, th I think we're done with the ham radio stuff there. I think we're done. We're going to find her, okay? Yeah. Where? Well. Who buy high Yeah. Nera? Oh, wait. There's more. But wait, there's more. Who are you? That's what people ask me all the time. Can you repeat? Who are you? What do you want to know about the American gun? We're with the FBI. We'd like to negotiate with the pirates who are holding her, but we need to know who they are. It's Hello, tense. FBI. My name is Pardeep. I know oh, your pirates. How do you know them? I tracked them on my tumbler. I talk with locals here. Pirates don't know who I am, 
So it's all good. And you know these pirates have an American woman? I can tell you. But now wait a second here. He, he is about to do a little bit of extortion on them. Because this is a kid, and this kid understands uh, but, uh, social media. So watch, uh, watch what he does here. This is cool. If you, FBI, tweet my page so I get American fans, then I will <laughs> top pad it page. Tweet my page. Uh, how do we know you're telling the truth, Pradeep? G-A-M, Indonesian pirate had your lady first. See, I know. Will you tweet me? My name's C. Swagla. Can you do that? Yeah, can we do that? Yeah, I'll text Daryl and Simon will take care of it. All right, little buddy. Request is being granted right now. Now tell us what you know. G-A-M and other pirates lose their bounty to a big ship, the Wong Sa. Wong Sa was sent from Malaysia. You may be noticing also um, his audio is not single sideband and everything is nice and quiet. You know, so uh, as usual, none of this stuff is real ham radio. The producers clearly knew enough about it to get a lot of correct equipment, maybe minus the antenna, and somewhat correct, although stretching the limits of any kind of reasonability procedures and they didn't pick a ham radio frequency, but um, they clearly decided not to make a real ham radio sound in, in terms of um, the audio because it would make things more difficult for the audience to understand. So no noise, nice clear signal, just, you know, just a little bit filtered so make it sound like it's coming from a speaker. Well, it's not a pinched nose because it doesn't sound like he has a cold. You know what I mean? So, uh... Anyway, that's, that's how they used ham radio. Since it stopped pirates, but it turned pirate too. Now they hunt other pirates, stealing their goods. GAM is always losing to the Wong Sa. That must be where Mitra is, right? Thanks, pretty. No worries. Be happy. <laughs> <laughs> we have a ship. It's a start. Yeah. And we got ham radio. So um, let's uh, let's take a little bit more closer look at some of that ham radio stuff. I'm going to look for the... Okay, so um, many of you recognized it. It's um, it's a Yesu um, FT450D. What you might have a hard time seeing, although I, I think I saw it on the big screen, is the word Yesu is supposed to be over here. And they covered it up with a piece of uh, tape, probably um, what we use in the television business, <laughs> in the, the film business, gaffer tape. It's a black cloth uh, base pit tape. And um, they covered up the Yesu. I don't know why, because if you look here, they're happy enough to uh, show MFJ. You know, there's, you know, so, no, so no Yesu here, but they're showing MFJ. So I don't know, product placement, paid product placement. I don't think MFJ could come up with the money to get their product placed in a major network television program, but for some reason they decided not to show Yesu. But it's, that's a, oops. I'm going to learn how to run this thing someday. It's a Yesu radio, real Yesu radio. Uh, so um, if you got Netflix, I, th I think, I recommend, I liked Limitless better than I liked Stranger Things. And um, I did watch all the way to the end. Ham radio does not come up in it anymore, except for one last little thing I'm going to show you in just a moment. But um, it's on Netflix for the one season. And they, they were able to wrap it up. They don't just end it cold, hoping that they were going to get another season. They evidently found out they were going to be canceled in time to at least wrap up the season or wrap up the the thing and, and give you a conclusion. And as with most conclusions for most programs, movies, everything, it's not quite as wonderful as you might want it to be because endings are really, really hard. Hard to do. I'm not going to end this with a pitch to Arvin. I'm just going to end it with my standard, um, well, now wait a minute. I got one more thing because uh, they're going to do this for me. Yep, they are going to handle my sign-off. I'm Gary Pierce, KN4AQ73, everybody. You tangalia barua pepeyaho. Ndio tananajia. Ndio tananajia. Bye-bye.